it is an honour. You can see in any other sport, the weather badge with pride. I want to bring you know, that pride and joy to the badge. I will be leaving everything on the pitch. Now this opportunity is here, I'll, I'll do anything, anything and everything. Always an honour to represent Queensland. It's always feels very special to get picked, even you know, for the training squads. Winning is everything, and I don't. I want to be the best state in in Australia. First training session, I was buddy buddies with everyone, and yeah, I think the boys could see that. And you play the best football when you have fun. Really. Hey guys, day two, day two of training with Queensland, yeah. Victoria. Yeah. I have in front of me Naoki. Naoki, say hi. Yeah, it's three months ago we were all enemies, and then now we're all coming together, and yeah, it's really good, really good feeling. And the camera to Hussey. Hussey. Is it recording? Yo, oh. <laughs> where is he going? Hussey. <laughs> Uh, your name and your position. Ah, uh, Hassan. They call me Hass, Liu King. Uh, yes. Centre back. Rio. <laughs> name and position. I'm Rio, uh, playing uh, number 10. Nice. Name and position. <laughs> Can't take you serious, man. <laughs> yeah, try to make everyone all happy, gel together, and you know, together as a team, so we, we gel really well. Yeah, it's been really good. I feel like it's always really friendly. It's good vibes within the girls. You kind of feel like you know each other, playing against each other, so it's going to be really nice to actually be on the same team. <laughs> so I'm hoping to be able to bring that energy into the Queensland camp and kind of just bring that winning feeling. It's about you know going over the, the key points in terms of the way we want to play, how we want to win the ball back, how we feel we can hurt them. 10 and 9 will defend in here. Our 7 and 11 will tuck in and we want to force them to play into these wide areas. And just being very specific with, in terms of their key points, concise, to ensure that everyone gets the same message and is able to go out and deliver that on the field. So we can get through into the midfielders, look to combine, look to progress the ball. Firstly, it's about identifying the players that we want to, want to bring into the team and then off the back of that, what style of play is going to suit and then, you know, what system of play is going to bring that to life in the game. Okay, so we'll do a few blocks, a couple of eight to ten minute blocks in uh, the 3-5-2 shape and a uh, 4-4-2 shape is what we're probably looking at. These are some of you know, the high performing players in the league and, and to, to, to be a high performing player in the NPL, you, know, you need to have a good mentality, a winning mentality and you need to have the desire to compete. So uh, we've already seen that in the first session on Tuesday night, these players coming together, it was competitive um, you know, and it was, it was a really good level. You can always see it in the training. We, we're taking it all in and we're learning pretty fast how each other work and how different coaches you know, want to play. So everyone is thinking of each other. No, good, good week of training, good week of training. Boys are doing well. I reckon a close game. I wouldn't mind to see a penalty shootout. I wouldn't mind a little bit of penalty. Yeah, BTS. Yeah, just uh, out here in Brisbane Airport. Yeah, yeah. chance to go interstate, it's a really good feeling and for us to have the chance to go down to Victoria, you know, everyone's buzzing, you can see it in the training, you can see it in a change room. Half asleep, but yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Anytime players and coaches get to travel in a, in a football context to, to go and play and go and compete is exciting, it's different to, to what the players normally do, you know, when it comes down to Queensland versus Victoria, the exciting part is, is for the players to go down and, and challenge themselves against, against players from a different league. Playing at La Trobe University in a, you know, a state of the art facility is just be absolutely amazing. It is an honour to, to represent Queensland, bleeding that maroon and, and just making sure that we, we give it our all down there.
Can you take, uh, go out there and make that uh, safe route? There's a lot of girls that won't be here today, so uh, let's go out there and uh, do what we do best. Yeah. 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 It's an opportunity for them to showcase their talents and how strong we are together as a unit. This squad that we're taking down has the utmost mindset in terms of wanting to go out and absolutely take the, you know, the win down. Always rivals when we take these select teams away. So I think it's really a big thing for Queensland football to go out there and showcase the talent that we have and show how strong our league is. Minute three to Steph Galea. has got an opportunity to go to goal, and Steph Galea does get the first goal. She can deliver and straight to the back post, and Danielle Wise, right where she needed to be. To double the lead for Victoria, a really nice bit of play. I, I believe they're in their, their room right now saying, oh, this is great, this is great. And yet subconsciously they're losing 2 3%. They think the job is done. So the next 15 minutes is going to be super critical. If we can go out and score that goal, the psychology of everything will change. Right? We will be empowered by it. We will be fired up by it. They will have doubt. Right? So that is what we have to do in the next week. Deep ball in and it's swung around and it's a goal! It's just about being proud. It's it's representing, you know, families, it's representing staff, it's representing, you know, their teammates to go down there. And I think if we leave everything out on the pitch, we, we can't be unhappy with the performance either way and, and the result either way. And if we do that, we've left every stone unturned and they should just be proud of their achievements this season. Queensland have thrown everything at them. Football Victoria, win out the Battle of the States. I don't think I've ever coached a game this so one-sided. So today the football gods were with us, but you cannot fault the hundreds of things that are Massive pat on the back and well done. We're with you. It excites me, of course. It gives opportunities to get on the national stage. I mean, this is... Queensland versus Victoria. It's your best XI from Queensland, your best XI from Victoria going head to head. Come all this way, yeah, let's make it worthwhile. Putting on the Queensland shirt, the players are going to be filled with pride when they step out there. The team's goal is to, of course, win. And, you know, at the end of the day, there's bragging rights here and there, but we want to go down there and show our best football. Oh my God.
to a penalty shootout. You know, we've we've worked hard all season, and you know this this is the best best XI. Yeah, even if we lose, uh, you know we'll all be proud of each other. We did our best, and and yeah, move on to next season. Well, I think first and foremost, doing Queensland proud as well, and you know as importantly for for us to create a really good experience for these players. There's some fantastic young players in the group who are aspiring professional footballers. This gives them another taste of you know that getting towards the next step. You know, training in a high level, playing in a high level game, and then yeah, a really good experience as well for all the players involved.